Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 824-2019 at 1139 a.m. The Wing Nation is going wild outside right before I started recording. They are singing their songs of life and love. Many things coming through the field today. I don't know if you can hear those beautiful songs of joy coming through the window. There were several confirmations today from a couple light workers and my guides that we have reached a higher timeline for the collective. <laughs> Those winged brothers and sisters are really singing out today. Looks like a storm may be coming too. The sky was totally pink at sunrise. I wanted to thank all the love workers out there that have signed up for my personal training. You can learn more about that on primedisclosure.com forward slash love44 or just go to primedisclosure.com and click on divine44. We have a few more spots open. I apologize uh, for the inconvenience. Our website keeps getting hacked or, or attacked or whatever. My IT guy said he's never seen anything like this in 25 years of constant attacks and I don't know the terminology, DDoS and all this stuff, but he created the info at primedisclosure.com email and has had nothing but problems with it yesterday. One of the light workers contacted me and said that all my emails were going into spam, so we had to do testing and every single email I sent from info at primedisclosure.com went into people's spam, so... He tested everything out. The site's not blacklisted. I'm sure they have a hidden blacklist in the, the internet police, whatever you want to call them, the Google goggles <laughs> that are always watching from the dark. So I sent uh, multiple emails out last night. He worked on the email server for about five hours yesterday and still was having an issue. Talked with IT at our, where our servers are hosted, you know, it's costing us a lot of money to keep this thing going with all the testing and having to buy new servers and IPs and I don't know the full jargon. I do some IT work, but more in the mechanical, not in the networking. And the guy that's working with me, our divine brother, that's keeping the darkies from shutting down my site and... It's trying to keep the email thing going. So if, if you haven't had a response from me, if you've sent me a request to join the Divine 44, check your spam folders. I've been trying to contact everyone from a separate email. So thank you for your patience. I'm really feeling the power of the love coming through the comments that all love workers are sending me with their inspiration, their passion for learning this art, the Neigong arts, the Kunlun arts, the Qigong the divine sacred arts from the East that I've been training in for 30 years. I've been teaching for many years, but this is the first time I open it to the public. And I'm starting with 44 one-on-one -on -one and then 77 in a group. So I'm going to put out an update tomorrow with some more information on that. But check out the calling on the divine 44. If you feel inspired or that resonates with you, contact me. For now, we're still... We think we got the the server, the email server fixed. It is now 1144, 1144 for the team of 144. That's what we are training, the Divine 44, and then 77 into the 144, into the 10,000 and more, which is the infinite, the 10,000 beings of light, to the 10 million, the 10 billion trillion, to all beings in all realms. Today's transmission here the first one is from lisa renee from ascension avatar the ascension avatar wordpress.com guardian host planetary protection the planetary field is now held in a protected guardian hosted buffer zone where nuclear weapons are immediately neutralized although the controllers continually broadcast the armageddon software in the mass media so people believe that an entire species extinction is inevitable and unavoidable. Since the electric wars we have had a phantom black earth that existed as a negative form of itself in the lower timelines. This negative form earth is manipulated by the NAA 
mostly through their artificial software programs that spin out false timelines. This is the area of the lower density fields on the Earth plane that has bifurcated from the higher timelines and is comprised of the AI time loops, which is the area the NAA are currently fighting over. AI assimilation Earth timeline. This is the timeline the NAA are aggressively fighting for as they want to maintain control over their preferred bloodlines to mainstream Satanism and continue to harvest the lost souls and fragments that they have been using as an energetic source to fuel a variety of virtual reality systems and time loops. These groups try to lure human soul groups into these phantom realities that are propped up as virtual realities that glamorize an assortment of trendy and elitist lifestyles with high adrenaline or addictive sensual or erotic experiences all with machines. This destroys loving human connections that are transmitted through human contact by replacing basic human needs with a machine consciousness, this lowest section of the earth field that has reversals and AI is bifurcating from the rest of the earth field and the organic living consciousness and higher frequencies are moving into the higher zones hosted by the guardian founder races. Defender forces, these are realms where groups exist that are called the defender forces of the cosmic sovereign law. These defender forces are a part of those higher level light beings that are willing to lose their status of existing in a purely blissful or heavenly realm in order to come into a body and potentially lose their access into the free worlds because they want to defend God's sovereign law of one in the lower creation realms or throughout various worlds undergoing evolutionary transition. The first time that I became aware of the Defender Forces, because I had never heard of them before, was in April of 2008, when I was asked to open a Stargate in the Himalayan area, and that's in the Himala Himalayan Mountains. I know most people pronounce it Himalayan, but in India, it's Himalayan. Sometimes as a part of my job down here, I'm called upon the middle of the night in sort of crisis setting when they need a point person to be able to open or create a handshake hub or an open portal field in a certain location. This was one of these cases. So in April of 2008, I woke up into remote viewing a part of my consciousness body and I was in a valley in between the Himalayan mountains and my team from upstairs said to open the gate from this location now, right now. It felt as if there was an urgency in the timing and to get in and out quickly. And as we opened the gate, a bunch of defender forces and guardian beings came dropping in from above me. It would seem like they were dropping in parachutes from the sky, but they weren't. My team said these are the defender forces, and from then on, I knew the defender forces were here on Earth, and they were part of defending the cosmic sovereign law for Earth and humanity. So in my experience, the Defender Forces are very much a part of the Guardian Host families. They are a section of light beings that work as sentinels and gatekeepers to support those of us that are incarnated here and working with the cosmic sovereign law. They ensure that the beings that are here on earth during ascension cycle that are working with Christic principles which will not be enslaved in the higher realms or get trapped in the phantom realms because there's a lot of those dark shenanigans that are still being played out in what I call the smash and grab phenomenon where you have dark entities or beings that are still confused about what's going on during the bifurcation and frantically attack or are desperately grabbing pieces that they can grab on their way out. And that's really what we are dealing with now with the intense forces of chaos, a type of thuggery similar to smash and grab. And as love workers, light workers, we are working with these defender forces. We are <clears throat> manifesting sovereignty laws in what people call the law of one in the Taoist arts and the tradition that I teach and practice. We call the one law. It's the rise and fall of energy, the of of time and space. It is the the pulse of the universe, the pulse of Gaia, the pulse, the heartbeat, the heartbeat of the individual and the collective. We are in synchronicity synchronicity synchronized our heartbeat with Gaia's heartbeat and with the universal heartbeat, which we call one law. I also wanted to transmit here a quick update from Elizabeth Peru. About 2020, the systems are changing. The shift is real. 
Right now, wherever you look on the globe, you'll see and hear the old guard, the established ways of thinking and outmoded energy structures of power being systematically dismantled on the world stage and in your local town. There will be daily news of abuse and cover-ups being revealed. This is happening at an accelerated rate as we move into 2020, and there's a cosmic reason for why. We've been preparing for these days and working towards them for thousands of years. Every soul, now an adult human, is part of the active change into the new earth. Soon I'll be revealing an exciting initiative that we can all be involved with for 2020. Our time is here. I also wanted to transmit that we have entered in the Mayan calendar the yellow sun wave spell. And this is the power of clarity and enlightenment, which started August 21st to September 2nd, 2019. The yellow sun wave spell, Kins 40 through 52. I know I missed yesterday's dream spell journey because dealing with that chaos of the dark ones trying to prevent this next mission, causing technology shenanigans. That was half of my day spent trying to resolve that issue, and hopefully we can have it resolved. So yesterday's kin, that was 42. Kin 42, welcome the second moon of challenge. It's the beginning of the second moon, 28-day month of the dream spell, 13 moon solar year. Kin 42 is the kin bearer of this moon. So kin 42 is white electric wind. The code is I activate in order to communicate, bonding breath. I seal the input of spirit with the electric tone of service. I am guided by the power of death. Harmonic 11, overtone input, inform flowering of radiance. Also the yellow sun is the Ahau, A-H-A-U, tribe number 20, the enlightened one archetype. These are the themes of the yellow sun, the wise and evolved one known as Ahau. We now journey forth from the blue hand healing wave spell in our journey towards the sun in this 13 day cycle to achieve a Buddha mind filled with compassion, acceptance, and unconditional love of all as one. And that also resonates with the one law that we are all one, we are all connected. This is unity consciousness. The enlightened one archetype. I am the enlightened one, coded by the yellow sun. My number is 20. The universe totality. In meditation I was conceived. From meditation I am born. And for long eons have I dwelled deep within this meditation. I am the higher truth and the renewer of life. I turn the cosmic wheel of the law, giving pure mind teachings among the stars. I am the harmonic keeper of the blazing field of infinite light. Many names am I called but they only name my outer form, my fiery cloak that you call the sun. The enlightenment of one is the enlightenment of all. I am the fulfillment of the prophecy of Hunab Ku. Awakening all beings simultaneously is my task. In many places have I awakened, In every place I go I know by the name Tolan. Tolan for the awakened ones. To know me is to know the light of truth that illuminates illumines all things. Divine blessings in your soul are journey in this enlightening era of evolving consciousness. Namaste and la kek alakin. This is from Christina White, Magnetic World Bearer, Kin 66. And I felt chills through my whole body the whole time reading that archetype. I'll put a link in the description below for that transmission. Now for today, 824, Kin 43, Kin 43, the self-existing chamber of abundance and intuition. Today's Kin 43, self-existing night, for night, is a galactic activation portal, GAP, G-A-P day, which was the kin of Nikola Tesla. Kin 43 has the occult power of Kin 218, discovery of Pakal's tomb, therefore it has prophetic relevance. Kin 43 contains the power of 21, 7 plus 7 plus 7, plus the power of 22, 11 plus 11, equaling 43, 21 plus 22. Kin 43 is coded, coded by the Zolkin's Vector 3.3, Column 3, Seal 3, which is a fractal hologram of 33, 11 plus 22, 
equaling 33, the combined vo power of Volum VV and Balloon Ilk BI, uh, Ken 43 is coded 4.4. Wave spell 4, tone 4, which is a fractal hologram of 44, equaling 22, plus 22, equaling 11, 11, VV, and 11 plus 11, BI, equal twin archetypes, kin 43 is also coded 3.4, seal 4, tone 4, which is a fractal hologram of 34, the number of kin 34, the beginning of the wizard count, or dream spell count. Number 43, 21 plus 22, also relates to the 2018 transmissions of the Maya archetype of Queen Zakbu Ajaw, Temple 13, Lakama, or Palenque, the wife and queen consort of King Pakal, the Pakal Votan archetype. The great purpose of the Maya queen exhibits in 2018, Kin 218, was to confirm her identity as Zakbu Ajaw, the wife of King Pakal, this completely discredited the theory of Volumvotan, who thought the identity of the queen of Temple 13 was the Lady Cabal Jacques from Yakshilan, from the Galactic Yakshilan, which, what, while the queen of Lakama, Palank, was buried in Temple 13 next to Pakal. Therefore, we should refer to the archetype of Zakbu Ajaw by her real name because the nickname Red Queen was just a temporary nickname before her identity was deciphered. In fact, the queen, Zakbu, was a white queen because she was a lineage holder of the white solar wind of Balon Ilk, which, as it's shown in the inscriptions. So 24 August 2019, NS1.32.2.2, we have the 222 there. Kin 43, Blue Self-Existing Night, Galactic Activation Portal, I have a little angel outside the window calling to me with the black fur and the golden eyes. The galactic activation portal, the code and the mantra for today, I define in order to dream, measuring intuition. I seal the input of abundance with a self-existing tone of form. I am guided by the power of self-generation. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me, harmonic 11, overtone input. Inform flowering of radiance. So thank you for joining me here today on another auspicious day as we navigate through this unknown, through the Nawal, into the great mystery and beyond. I'd like to thank everyone again for connecting with me through this mission for the Divine 44. I just saw my email said 44 emails. Thank you, everyone, for your great love, your great support. It's empowering me. I've felt a power that's coming from my heart center that I've never felt before. So through this connection, through this Mission 44 that was transmitted to me from my spiritual guides, from the Ascended Masters, from the angelic realm, and this is part of this massive shift that we are going through in the final days of the old false matrix, so leave a comment below the video on what you're experiencing through these intense changes, these intense waves that are coming in. And also, if, you've, if you have not gotten a response from me about the Divine 44 training, then please check all your spam folders in your email and your junk folders because I've been reported that all my emails are being blocked by all the different ISPs. Hopefully we'll have that totally resolved today. But I've been uh, connecting with people through my personal email, habaneroson at yahoo.com. I was trying to keep them separate. And that's habanero, like a habanero pepper, sun, S-U-N, at Yahoo. But on that email, I've, I've had that one over 15 years, and I get hundreds of emails a day, so it's hard for me to filter through all the nonsense to get to the good stuff, which is all of you that are sending me emails. So I'm backed up. Several weeks between all the messages, the comments, the emails. So I'm doing my best to keep up with it all, but my main focus now, 100% on mission for the three feathers to return home through this Divine 44 support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for sending your love, your beauty, your truth. Stay in the heart center. Keep walking your path with heart, beloved beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.